Well, this is something that Arsenal had to make happen, man. Um, <laughs> Koscielny, you were never that great. Sorry. Now, there, there's a false narrative that, have been, that has been put out there where that's at one point, during Koscielny's peak, he was one of the best keepers in the Premier League. That's false. That's a lie. Um, he, 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 he never was. And I think him leaving... Um, Arsenal, I'm being sold, and also the way that it's it happened, it was unfortunate, but Arsenal had to, to do this for your captain. And this is the worst thing. It's one thing it's been like, let's say your star player or another player, but for your captain to refuse to go on a preseason tour because he wants to force a move, I think that just looks really, really bad. Hence why I believe that Kolasinac, the Eastern European warrior who can fight off guys with, with knives and swords, should be made the Arsenal captain 100%. Um, but I just think, you know, for Arsenal moving forward, I think, you know, it's... Well, they got this dude Saliba, but they're not going to low loan him out. And um, what's his name? Upam McMecano. That Upam McMecano is now a guy that Aston want to get, who I believe 100% is an upgrade on Koscielny because I was, see, I was watching Leipzig a lot two seasons ago. So this dude was maybe 18 or 19. And I was watching quite a few of the Leipzig games. And this dude, has, I was about to say, wait a minute, how old is this dude? And I think he was like 18 or 19 at this point. And he was, to be an 18, 19 year old, I get that Bundesliga likes to play fetuses in the first team. But still, for an 18, 19 year old to be able to hold his own in the first team of a top four team in a top tier league tells you something about what this dude is about. And this dude, 100, for me, at this time in points, I don't think there's any difference between Coco Shelley now and Upemi Meccano. But he's 20, which means that he can improve. So his upside is far greater than, than what Koscielny should, be, should should have. So I think 100% Arsenal should do whatever they can to get this kid. They should do what, I, mean, I don't know how much Leipzig are going to ask for, but they must do all they can to get this kid. But with regards to Koscielny, it's, it's not a big loss. It's not, it's not a big loss. He never had a great impact on Arsenal. At his best, he was tier 3. He was never a tier 2 defender. I mean, he never was. He was always, I, okay, but he was never a top tier defender. Like when you look at when they had guys like Tony Adams, guys like Saul Campbell, and so forth, Koscielny isn't anywhere close to the quality of, 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 of those dudes. So I think for Koscielny to come out and say he felt disrespected, he didn't feel that his ability was appreciated, you're having a laugh, bro. Because you're easily overrating yourself. So now that you're going to Bordeaux, obviously back to France. I think, you know, you're pretty much going to go down back to your level because you're never going to win a trophy. You're never going to really become re re relevant again. And I think that he's going to, in years gone by, he's going to look back and say, I think I over overrated myself just a little bit slightly. So I think for Arsenal, look, it's, it's not, not a loss. They can move on from this, make the Eastern European warrior, Kolasinac, the captain of the team, go all out and um, Upame kind of get this kid. Why did you learn out Sal Saliba? Because you did much more defensive re reinforcements. And then, yeah, man, build on for what will be a very, very tough season for Arsenal next season.